Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, please click like and subscribe. And if you click on the little bell in the lower right hand corner, you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. What is the mystery of Area 51? This is a very interesting question. And, you know, the recent um, coverage of Area 51 um, on social media has brought this once again into the public eye. And I thought that I would just uh, read some tarot cards about, or ask the tarot cards, what is going on with Area 51? So I'm going to pull from several different decks, and I'm going to just ask, what do we have to know about Area 51? And I'm going to throw out some cards from several different decks to see if, there is anything that shows up that's super mysterious um, and go from there. And I'm going to just keep pulling cards out and talking about the cards. So this is using the Robin Wood Tarot deck to start out with. Shut off the light so we don't have so much glare on the cards. Now, starting out, we've got the Magician card. So they're working with some kind of energy here, right? So some kind of energy, and they work night and day. There is always something going on at Area 51. We've got the magician. He's got all the tools. So it's advanced, working with advanced tools and working with energy and a big cover up here because he's got a deer, um, you know, a deer disguise. So it's working under disguise okay which you know and magician has a cloak so this is definitely disguised um, and it's definitely energy based okay so it's energy based knight of wands is interested in the magician and this is a high energy card and how weird is this that the terrain back here looks like nevada that's just weird um, at any rate you've got uh, protection there's a uh, the knights are wearing protection. So there's a huge feature of this that has to do with wars, right? Fighting wars, because that's what knights do. They go into battle. It's fighting wars, and there's a huge amount of secrecy, which is understandable if they've got advanced military weapons that they're doing there. There's going to be cover-ups, secrecies, and this is also lies and conspiracies all right so that's another thing that's part of all governments and military has lies and secrets and cover-ups that's just normal everyday life and then we'll pull from the haunted house tarot and say is there anything else we need to know about this all right some interesting cards come up in this deck for sure. The haunted houses were the one I use for my mysteries. Um, so this is going to be mildly fun, right? <laughs> okay, so look at this here. All right. So we have an interesting scene here because she almost looks like the angel with black wings, like dark, dark stuff. And this is dark. This is very dark agenda. So there's a there is definitely a dark agenda there. And then there, this looks like the Queen of Pentacles. So um, this the Queen has a level of expertise um, in and also a hierarchy. So this feels like there's a hierarchy. Um, but and look at the building here this actually looks like they're different buildings doesn't it kind of plain looking on the outside and you really don't know what's inside um but it this just has a feeling of being dark um i'll bring this card in closer for you to look at um because i like to look at the Im imagery but just look at the buildings there, how plain they look on the outside and that there's many layers to them. And she's even inside a building that's kind of rough cut that looks like she could be inside a rough cut like an airplane hangar. And then she's got wings for flying. So unusual hangars, unusual airplane hangars, 
unusual ways to fly. I'm going to say that. There's unusual ways to fly. Um, all right, so we'll pull these cards off. And then um, I do have a UFO deck, but we can't really ask if UFOs are there and use a UFO deck because every single card has a UFO in it. But I'll pull three cards from this and then down below it, three other cards from another deck and then we'll get uh, some information. Wow, we're really getting that this is about flying because, you know, this is about flying. I'm almost going to say the whole thing has to do with flying, things that fly, saucers, new technologies for flying. I'm going to say the whole thing's based on that because this is what the theme of the cards is. All these people coming and going in these different crafts that are flying. I wouldn't be surprised if they had an underground flying facility. Like they could fly underground literally, probably, because the, that building looked like it could be hangars. So this definitely, I don't even know if I have to pull another card because this is definitely d birds flying and craft flying. It's definitely a test facility for crafts that are flying. So this is definitely flying uh, unusual things that fly. Here's people coming in and out of them. And then more UFOs flying. Um, I This is definitely probably an Air Force, elite Air Force base. And the dark agenda would be war, like war planes and things like that for wars. Um, and then pull the Anna K deck and... That is the devil card. That's never good. <laughs> That's never good. Pulling the devil card for situations. And the lover's card. And we'll do one more since we're going in threes. The lover's, by the way, can be a choice uh, when it's next to the devil. Wow. Um, not good. There we have black winged angel again. Different deck. Totally different deck. Black in winged angel so i guess if you were having uh death machines de flying death machines <laughs> i don't know what else to say it's, it's definitely had to do with flying and wars would have to do with you know ending of human life i guess because that's what wars do they go after human life the devil card is not a not a very good agenda um so, I mean, people have a lot of fear, Area 51. They have a lot of fear about it. The cards are indicating that you probably should be afraid of Area 51. Um, I'm going to pull something from the Miss Cleo deck. And what does the average person need to know about Area 51? There's like, there's whistleblowers. It's very interesting when you follow it. Um, this is Miss Cleo's deck, by the way. The Three of Coins. So it's all about plans, right? Because that's all about, the Three of Pentacles is about plans. Uh, having plans, putting things together, constructing things, training people, like a training facility. And then we got, again, another queen. This is the queen of swords. She's the queen of knowledge, right? And so she's very intelligent, actually. And then we've got the magician again. So this has to do with energy. Literally has to do with energy. Oh, look at the sword floating. That's kind of weird. I don't see that in any other card. Why would a sword be floating? Anti-gravity, that's why. Oh, duh, Melanie. Sometimes I spit things out and I'm like, duh, Melanie. You've only been reading the tarot cards for 27 years. When you see a floating card around energy of the magician, it's anti-gravity. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't figure that out before. So they're working with anti-gravity. And um, even this is above the head. The, and this is a triangle. This almost looks like a some kind of flying machine that I would say this is anti-gravity. This is probably their main force is to work with the quantum quantum energies and try to manipulate. You know, magicians work with the laws of the unseen world, and there's a lot of the laws that we don't understand. So there's a certain amount of channeling of this energy because he's actually grabbing onto it. I haven't seen this in any of my other magician cards where somebody's grabbing onto the energy. You you know, so that means they've harnessed it. When he's grabbing onto it, they've harnessed it. They've harnessed it. 
and um, that's very interesting. They've if they've harnessed anti gravity and some of the laws that operate on the planet, some very high level. And look at he's got these stacked and he's balancing them on his hands. So it's the art of of balancing these energies. This is kind of interesting. There's a lot of like lower level people. Um, they've got different levels here. So you're only given your knowledge. You're only given knowledge based on whatever level you're at. So the lower level people are never given the superior knowledge. In fact, it's almost like they have different classes of people that are inside of their hierarchy, I guess you could call it. There's a hierarchy of people there. And then uh, what is the average person? What is, is there? You know, I just like to keep, I like open-ended questions. Like, is there anything that we have to know or be concerned about Area 51? Um, it's run by people who are powerful. We, we already kind of knew that. It's run by powerful people. And this is also has a medical component to it. And agreements. They've got agreements going. This is the card about partnerships and agreements. Um, for this to stay a mystery this long, um, they've had, I mean, the confidentiality that this place has managed to keep um, is amazing in some ways. But I think that, you know, as time goes on, people will start to understand more of what goes on there. Um, and this is just talk about many challenges. They've got They've got a lot of challenges there, so it's not going through an easy phase right now, um, as you can imagine. So, um, almost feels like there there's talk of it moving to a different area, like it's too much attention or too much of something, whatever, too much of something not balanced to be there, going down another path, going to another location. I don't know how they would ever do that, but. It's very interesting that I keep looking at a path here with a crown or they're going to buy up like more land to keep people further away from it. That's not that's always, you know, an option with this card. Um, it's very interesting that we have wings here and wings up here and that's the Mercury wings which is our messengers, right? So there's a very important secret code of messages probably in some kind of code coded language so that nothing goes over the airways that can be intercepted. They have their own special code of language. Um, but at any rate, um, I find that interesting. Um, is there any, of course I can't, I'm asking, I have to ask a normal card this, but are there aliens in Area 51? Are there actual hybrids or human or aliens in Area 51? <coughs> Excuse me. That question choked me up. All right, what do we have here for a card? Let me look at it first. Don't know. Three of something. I can't tell the symbols of this card. Oh, that's weird. This is the weirdest card. Asking if there's aliens, and here's a somewhat normal-looking person looking at these half-human... Huh. Um. Well, let's pull another card, a normal tarot card. <laughs> That's kind of looking yes, but we can't rely on that card. All right. Are there alien hybrids in Area 51 or just pure aliens? Now we get the... That's interesting because we get the Queen of Wands, not the Queen of Pentacles, right? And she's got, like, eggs there, like fertilized eggs. This is my card that comes up when I tell women, be careful, you're in a fertile period. Well, here's eggs outside of the woman. Oh, I think that's a little strange for the Robin Wood card. Celebrating. Three. Oh, we got another three. We got a three here, and we got a three there. Huh. Oh, you know what three is. You have, you have one person who's alone, you have two people as a couple, and the two people have a child, and that's three. Duh, Melanie, that's three. It's kind of answering my question in a weird kind of way. There we go. This, is, this always kind of reminds me of medical, like the catechist, but it also reminds me of like in vitro or something. Something weird's going on there. 
Maybe they're into cloning or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. The whole Area 51 craze, I'm sure that they're just hoping, wishing that everyone would go away and let them continue with their dark agenda, whatever that is. Um, then I'm gonna, I like to add, grab just a deck that is just has nothing to do with anything. I don't read from this deck, but I'm just going to say, let's pull some cards for Area 51 fun, shall we? Shall we have some Area 51 fun so it doesn't get so serious? Here we have the Hermit. Hermit wants to be left alone to do their own thing. Leave us alone. We want to do our own weird thing all by ourselves, right? And then we've got the Six of Swords, and that's movement, all right? Now, usually that's a good thing because that means you're moving out of a difficult situation, right? But in Area 51's case, we don't know. Oh, judgment, they're definitely judged. They're definitely feeling the judgment by more and more people. More and more people are starting to toot the horn. More and more people are tooting the horn about Area 51. This could be whistleblowers. This could be people that are going to start leaking. Um, because there's people that fly in and out of Area 51, I think. Not sure, but I think. And this is the King of Swords trying to set boundaries. You know, trying to, and this is about information. The king, you know, he's he's extremely intelligent, the king. Very much an intelligent uh, society. And here's justice. Um, here's justice. And this is the scales. Things being fair. Um, karma. This can be karma coming around. Um, and the sun shining the light on a situation that no one previously saw. Oh, wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't that be interesting? Um, yeah, there we are. Doing something, doing something foolish and exposing, exposing something. Huh. That's interesting. These are, that's interesting. Just throwing up all the, I don't know if these are astrology symbols. I can't, I mean, I'm, farther away. I mean, the cards are way over here and I'm on the other side over here, not really looking closely at the card, but there's like, I think those are astrology symbols and he's just being foolish, doing something foolish and exposing yourself. Wow. That would be interesting. Doing something foolish and exposing yourself literally to the world because whatever is foolish is done is going to be up in the sky and everybody's going to see it. It's, it's going to be noticed by everyone and they're going to be thinking what a foolish thing that was. Huh. Wow. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. That is interesting. If you guys think of more Area 51, if I left out any questions on Area 51, uh, put your comments below. Other than that, you know, it's just a very top secret place. And it is interesting that so many people are now suddenly becoming aware of it. Which, as a tarot reader, that always makes me wonder why. Why are so many people becoming aware, suddenly like really interested or aware of Area Fifty One? And that's the people. That's pages are the people becoming, you know, very focused on it. It seems to be like you know the buzzword. And then it's like um, maybe not <laughs> Ten of Swords. Maybe we don't want to become interested in that. Uh, Ten of Swords, that's never a good card. That is never a good card uh, to have come up. And here we get the queen. We get a lot of queens. This reading has a lot of queens in it. I just kind of pay attention to things like that. A lot of queens. And uh, Black Cat. Very interesting. So if I missed any questions, you guys... Be sure to leave them in the comments, and maybe I'll do a second Area 51 video if it, there is a peak interest in that. Thanks for joining me tonight.